Happy Friday, friends. Okay, so I wanna pop in here and talk about coaching and all the things. Um, but first of all, I just watched a training video that was amazing and I shared it with a lot of gals on my team who are here to pay this forward and to really lean into their own dreams and step into the version of themselves that they've always wanted to become. And so the entire call was about vision and I feel like vision is such an important thing that we all need to focus on more frequently. And I know that getting to your big vision can feel really overwhelming. And I know a lot of you are just starting on your fitness journey or maybe you even start stopping on your fitness journey. You know, like it's been a struggle bus and you're really kind of flip-flopping around trying to find your own momentum and groove. But I know that the daily actions are how we get there. But I feel like the vision, having a vision for what you want in your life is so important because if you don't have a bigger vision, if you're not dreaming, if you're not willing to do the things that are going to make you temporarily uncomfortable and maybe kind of want to puke in your mouth, you're never going to get one step close, closer to whatever your vision is. And so when I found coaching four years ago, like four and a half years ago, my vision my vision was the same in the sense that I knew this was meant for me. Like I always knew there was something missing from my life. I knew that I had, I just had it on my heart to inspire other women and to make other people feel less alone, like they were included and they belong. That's always been who I have been as even since like as a kid, you know? Um, and so I found all these different pieces that were so in alignment with who I wanted to become and who I'd always dreamed of being. And all those little pieces like were put together by this opportunity. And so it's not about a pimping a product. It's not about trying to like convince people that what I'm doing is exactly what they should do. It's just about knowing the potential that can come with this business and knowing how it, how your personal vision and your dream and your desire to be more and to make an impact and to maybe even rewire old generational things that have kept us stuck. Um, and coaching has just been such a freaking gift for me. So on this call I listened to, they're talking about your vision and what it could be and what it should be. I actually took some notes. So I'm going to share some of it with you because even if you're not really interested in coaching, this isn't the right season. I still want you to think about what your vision is. It's still something really important to know what it is you're, you're moving towards and what it is you're, you're hustling for and all these daily actions that add up. Like why? Is it just to check a box? Is it just to go through day after day? No, it's, it's all about your vision. And if you don't have a vision, it's so easy to get off track. So a couple questions for all of you to journal. And I actually just did. I finally sat down. This has been on my to-do list for like, I don't know how long, but I had the nudge and I was like, I'm just going to do it. I don't know why stuff like this makes me uncomfortable, why I put it off. Like, it's not like it's going to the dentist, whatever. I actually really like the dentist, but that's neither here nor there. So what could be and what should be? This is your vision, okay? So question number one that I want you to think about, meditate on, just journal out, do a brain dump. You don't have to, it doesn't have to look pretty, it doesn't have to make sense. You just get it out of your body onto paper. If time and resources were of no issue, who would I spend time with? And why would I spend time with them? And then what would we be doing? So I'm not saying like you're a multimillionaire and like, you know, <laughs> your jet arrives with your 500 cats. No, I'm just saying like if, you know, all your bills were paid and you had more than enough and you didn't have to worry about any of those things, like what, who would you be spending time with and what would you be doing? Your next question are what are your top three priorities in your life? Like what are the top three priorities and are you living in alignment with those? Like what's your priority? Are you living in alignment with those three priorities? If time and money were no longer your hang up, how would you honor those three priorities differently than you do right now? Um, another one of the questions was travel. Like, do you want to travel? Where do you want to travel? Why do you want to travel? Do you have a bucket list? If you don't have a bucket list, hi friend, if you don't have a bucket list, like write down your bucket list and get really clear about it because the future exists only in your mind and what you decide you're capable of, how you decide you're going to show up, all those things today are going to influence where you're going to wind up and where you're going to go. True story. Um, and then what does your daily life look like? And so I think about this a lot. Like I'll be on my walk and I'll be thinking, you know, man, I really wish I could just stay in bed today and, and read a book or whatever. And I'm like, why can't I do those things? Like I could do those things right now if I wanted to, because I get to do this business and I get to stay home and I don't have to contribute 
by going out and like, I don't know, working at the local coffee shop or something. Like I'm super grateful and very fortunate. And I know that we're not all in that same situation, but like, what does your ideal daily life look like? It doesn't have to be big and dramatic. Like for me, I'm a nester. I want to be home no matter what, how much money is in the bank account and what our house looks like. That's always been my heart. Like even before we had kids, I love to be home. I love to make a safe, cozy place that feels relaxing, that feels clean. That's always been my thing. That's still my thing. I love the fact that, yeah, my kids are all in school, but I'm still home and I can be there if they need me. If someone is sick, I can be there. Like these are things I'm super grateful. And this is part of, of my vision, right? This is part of why I show up and do this business is because it plays that those dreams play into that, that I can show up and get them if they're sick. I don't know how many times my kids have gotten sick and they haven't called me, but I'm like, no, no, like my kid, I stay home. I work from home. So if my kid doesn't feel well, I want them to come home. <laughs> What's wrong with people? Um, but like, think about that. These are all just things like you don't have to like take some time and get really quiet. You can get into your bed or whatever, write it in a note. I just, I write everything in a 48 cent Walmart notepad. You guys, this is my fancy system. I have another one for my business building a million dollar business, <laughs> writing on my notepad. That's how I do it. But if you don't have a vision, none of this is going to resonate with you. All the big uncomfortable things, none of that will resonate with you. There will be no impulse. There'll be no charge for you to show up and do the actions it's going to take you to do to get to that next place if you don't have a vision. So I'm asking you all whether or not you want to be a beach body coach or you love our workouts or whatever, just to get super clear about what your vision is and how are you showing up today? Because Every way you show up today creates that future vision. And there was a whole bunch of other notes that I'm, I'm not going to share with you because you're like, whatever. But just think about the fact that how, I, I just said this. I'm going to be a broken record for a second. So bear with me that the vision you have for your life and for your goals, speaking into the universe is so critical. It's so important. And so I took time and I journaled it out into this. This is my, this is my new planner. I really love it. Um, the Rise Up Planner with Moira Kukaba. I got it on Amazon. And like put your vision in front of you. I have a morning practice and I'm going to start putting my, putting my vision in there where I take time and I meditate and I take time and I do my gratitude practice and I, I read something every single day that inspires me. And now I'm going to look at my vision because I've been putting this glass ceiling on myself and I've been kind of keeping myself stuck and like, well, you know, it's scary. It's scary to get uncomfortable, but that's one of the things that coaching has taught me is that it's okay to dream and it's okay to get uncomfortable and it's okay if you don't exactly know how it's going to unfold as long as you have that vision that's pulling you closer to it every single day. You guys, I used to have an ice pick. True, my husband called it the ice pick. And I would take it out and I would like chop at his dreams. Like he'd want to do something. And I would, I thought I was just being, you know, the realist. Like I would be like, no, no, I don't know if that's the best idea. And I would not play devil's advocate, but I was just so scared. I was raised in this culture of lack and fear. And if you use tampons, you're going to get toxic shock syndrome. And if you smoke marijuana, there will be, there will be mushrooms and other things laced in there and you'll become a vegetable. Like I grew up in this environment where it was scary as shit all the time. And so fear was second nature to me. Fear kept me safe. Fear kept me comfortable. Fear kept me caged. And I didn't know that until I became a coach. I didn't know that until I started to do all the personal development. I started to focus on all the positivity and all, all the ways that I was the one in charge of my life. I wasn't a victim. I didn't have to be afraid of all the things that are out there. Like I'm capable. I'm resilient. I am brave. I am bold. I am Loved by those who matter most, right? And so I know in this group, we, I talk a lot. I talk about all the things in this group. I don't even know, but I'm just really grateful. I wouldn't be this version of myself if I hadn't said yes to coaching. And you're, some of you are brand new and you're like, what the hell are you even talking about? <laughs> tell me the nitty gritty. I will. Tomorrow I'm going to go live in here and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to break it down. Like, what does it mean to be a coach? How do you get started? What daily actions do you do? How much is it going to cost me? What kind of money can I make? All those things. I'm going to tell you all that tomorrow. Probably not today because my kids are going to come home soon and then it's like, you know, a carnival. But what I want you to know is that this business can be just a hobby. It can be something where you save 25% off of your own personal products. It's totally Sorry, my alarm for my snack just went off. <laughs> 
um, you could just pay it forward and share it with a couple of people every single month to offset your own costs. You could totally do that. You could totally just hang out and use this as an extra layer of accountability on your own personal journey. That's cool too. But I want you to know that there's no limit. There are people in this business who have created just crazy cool things because they had a vision, because they have a vision, and because they've been willing to do the work and to play the long game. And I think that's the piece that so many of us we are, we're a microwave society with a crock pot mentality. We want it to be super, super fast, but we want these big, amazing things and we're unwilling to do the work. And that goes for our fitness journeys as well, right? You get super impatient. Like, you know, you don't go to college and get a degree like one week later. You have to do all the work. You don't just start a program and then two days later you don't have abs, you don't have results, and so it's not working. That's not how any of this works. This business, there was an actual thing I wrote down because I was like, mm, preach, preach. Um, what did I write? I don't know what I wrote. I don't know what I wrote. I wrote it down somewhere. Oh, so Microwave Society with the Crock-Pot Dreams and what you do now creates your future. Oh my gosh. So they were talking about one of these coaches on this call, this vision call, creating your vision for 2020. They were talking about the artist Lizzo. You know that song? Everybody knows that song. I'm not going to sing because that's not one of my spiritual gifts, but you know the song, Truth Hurts by Lizzo. Okay. So Lizzo, she started writing and singing music in 2010. In 2010, she started writing, she, she wrote that song, Truth Hurts. It didn't hit the radio until 2019. And she spent two years peddling that song. She went to 10 local radio stations in her town and they all told her, don't quit your day job, go home. This is No one will ever play that song. And now I hear it all the time. I hear it on the radio. I hear it on freaking like Instagram stories. I hear that song all, it's in my head right now. I hear that song all the time, but that's what she did every single day. She believed in her vision. She showed up and did the work for like 10 freaking years. It took her 10 years to get a number one hit. It took her 10 years to be recognized. And so I'm not saying that you coaching is gonna take you 10 10 years, Jesus, take the wheel. I hope that's not the case. But like everything you do, all the daily actions add up to next month's momentum. And more importantly, as coaches, all the work we do, it's working on ourselves. Like if you're just here and you're an empty head, you're just like a talking, just talking points and trying to sell people. That's not what this business is about. This business will change your life from the inside out, but it starts with you and you have to be willing to trust the process. You have to be willing to be coachable. You have to be willing to be a good communicator. You have to be willing to like do the freaking work to do the personal development every single day. So I don't want the people who are here for microwavable results. Like I don't want people. So if you're like, Oh, you know, I've been doing that 21 day fix thing for like two weeks and I don't have like amazing results. I don't want you. Like if you're going to just play just the tip all day long and you're not going to spend the time thinking about your end game, your vision, you're not going to last. You're not going to make it. You're not going to have success. I want you to, I want all of you to find what I had because I never in a million years would have thought this was possible for me but it is. And here I am. And it's changed my entire life. We're in, I'm sitting in my living room in Montana, which never would have happened if I hadn't said yes to coaching. There's been so many different boomerangs, so many different dominoes, so many things that were not coincidences kept coming back into my life. And I was so, I was so afraid. I was so comfortable with my fear place. Like, what if I say yes? What if I do the thing? What if I suck? What do people judge me? What if, what if I fail? What if blah, 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 all the what ifs, what ifs don't pay your bills? What ifs won't change your life? What ifs will keep you caged? They will keep you stuck and they will keep you mediocre. That's like my worst fear now is to be mediocre. When that's how I used to live was mediocre wins the race. <laughs> It won't, but to me, I didn't want to get uncomfortable. I didn't want to do something I could potentially fail at. I was a perfectionist and I did not want to take any kind of risks. This business takes sacrifice. It takes discipline. It takes having the long vision, the long-term vision and being willing to show up and do the work. True story. Was there anything else I want to tell you? Oh, I know. This business, final thought about this business. So when you start with us, you start on your journey. Maybe you're already in the middle of your journey, right? You're working on your journey. You're showing up to it. You're doing all the things. And I want you to know that this business is just like your personal, healthiest, happiest life journey. There's a delay. 
that everything you do today, all the little tiny insignificant decisions and choices and actions and behaviors and the personal development and the gratitude practice and the pushing the play and drinking your water and making sure that you are practicing the self-care and doing your energy practice, all those things that you do today, they don't just impact today. More profoundly, they're going to impact the next couple of days, the next couple of months. And that's the way this business works. You have to put a lot into it. I'm not telling you you have to spend hours every single day. I do because I love it and because I have a vision to retire my spouse. I have a vision to build a dream house. I have a vision to be completely free, free from all the things, free from debt, free from just like not being able to dictate the terms of my life. I mean, as of right now, like we live where the government tells us to live. And I want to be able to be like, you know what? I want to live close to Walmart. I want to have my gingerbread latte. I want that power. And so that's something that I am, that's part of my vision is creating that. My vision is also becoming the kind of mom that my kids will look up to. And I'm sure they would have looked up to me if I had never changed. I'm sure, you know, cause I'm their mom and I keep them alive and I do all those things. I set up the elf on the shelf and stuff like that. But like, I want to be someone that they're so intensely proud of. I want to be someone that their adult selves looks at and is like, yeah. My life is different because of my mom. My life is different because she made an active choice every single day to put her on her own oxygen mask. And that taught me that that's what I have to do. I'm changing. I'm breaking up with generational curses, with generational stuck. That's me. I'm doing that. By the grace of God, I'm doing that. And by doing all these thing, layers of work, it's not like it's all me, like I get to wear a tiara. But I'm just saying, you guys, if I hadn't had this opportunity, if I hadn't been willing to get uncomfortable, if I hadn't been willing to create the vision for my life, I wouldn't be here talking at my phone at two o'clock on a freaking Friday. Coaching has changed my life. And so I'll continue to come here every single day. I'll continue to invite people. I'll continue to follow up with you. I'll continue to tell you again and again and again why you belong with us and why you are part of my vision. I just filled out 40 names, 40 people went into this book of my dream girls, of my dream team, of the people who are just like me, who get it and who I get and who I want to see dream bigger and do more and realize their vision and step into that version of themselves they've always wanted to be, but maybe we're too scared or too overwhelmed or too stuck or too afraid to begin. I believe in you and I will believe in you before you believe in you. And it's not like, you know, I don't have a magic formula. I have daily actions that I can tell you. I have tons of coaching tools and tips and stuff I can plug you into, but this is your life and it is your journey and it won't look like mine. And that's your power. When you get past the fact that this is, you know, overwhelming and you start to realize that every single day you show up to your journey, every single day that you do personal development, every single day is a gift and it is a chance for you to get better at being you. You don't need to be perfect. You don't need to weigh 125 pounds. I don't weigh that. You don't need to look a certain way. You just have to be willing to have a vision. You have to be willing to do the work. You have to be willing to show up. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be super all put together. You can be a hot mess mom, but like, it's just about you having a vision and being willing to do the work, being willing to get yourself closer to that goal. True story.